Okay, so let's take a look at how you can plot pie chart in Python using Plotly library. So first thing, we'll open command prompt and then we will check whether we have Python or not. Right, once we have that, we can clear the console and then move on to installing Plotly. You can also install another Plotly library known as Plotly Express. Once you have these two things, and go on to installing Jupyter Dash Lab, right? So once all of that is installed, we can move on to opening Jupyter, then Notebook. Alternatively, you can also use Jupyter Dash Lab, right? So if you are VS Code use, user, then you can open VS Code and I will show you there is one more way for you to use notebook. So go to extensions, then type in Jupyter. And so this is the extension you can install. You can also install Python extension. So both of these should do the work, right? Now, next thing, go to view command palette. Here you can type in Jupyter and create new notebook. This should open a new tab and it should show you option like this, right? And here you will notice the notebook. You can run it by pressing this button or control enter enter. Right? You can add code or markdown by pressing these buttons, right? So let's move on and type in import plotly dot express as px right then we will use px dot pi function right it will take a few values right so say i have these set of values 20 50 then 37 and maybe 18 right these set of values next thing names so names equals to and within square bracket we can have g1 g2 g3 then g4 right so we have our values and names right so next thing would be to simply use figure dot figure dot show this function should plot our pie chart right so execute this it will start the process right and after that below you will find the pie chart it will also show you the total amount of seconds it took to plot the pie chart right below you can see this is the pie chart right hand side you will see legend right and all your G1, G2, G3, G4 values with color code, right? There are a few things you can even include into this, like say, I add comma, then use title, and let's say if I add title like, by chart in Lotly, right? And if I run this, notice that our title gets added. Right now, one more thing we can do, we can also add the option for color. So I use color and then within square bracket, I choose to add the set of values. Then can simply use AA, then B, and then B, right? So basically if I use comma there, that should add the color by group to your pie chart. Right? Notice that red and blue, and you will also get the label into them, right? And uh, over the right hand side, you will also find the legend showing the color code and your names next to that color, right? Now there are a few more things 
like let's say if I want to adjust the opacity I can do so simply type in opacity equals to let's say point 55 right and make sure you have comma after those parameters than this and immediately it will change the opacity okay, and experiment a bit more let's say 0 0.35 run it and it will go even more transparent so stick with values 65 or 75 good enough to you right so apart from that there are also parameters like color district map that we can check out right so to try that what we can do is can simply go next to this comma right so after comma what we can do color district then map there is also sequence but here in this case we need district map now we will use curly bracket so within that I will use G1 right and then I will have to use some form of uh, hex value for that color so I will just keep on adding G1 G2 and next to that I will use single quote right so single quote G3 then colon then single quote then single quote G4 right and then single quote again right so pretty much we managed to get that but I need colors so let's type in this color hunt website and here if I choose few colors like this so here I have this yellow color copied go to your chart paste it make sure you have hash there right then another color add it somewhere here right then another which is blue hash and then color and then finally one more color which is green now let's use hash and add that too right now run the code and notice your color district map right only two of the colors took by it so kind of like rest of them are ignored or something <laughs> right so that's pretty much the case for the color district map right so another thing is if you remove the opacity you will get more clarity here Right, so let's run this and there you are. Notice that it will only pick two colors out of this and from the range of the available colors it picked few. Right. Now there is also line style that you can update. So see I want to add that I will have to come out of Y function. So figure dot update underscore traces right and within that we will be passing the marker equals to dict and then within that I will add line equals to again dict function and then color equals to we can also set the width right so with then color you can adjust with there right so you can now run again and notice that we have line width and its color based on the type of color that you would be using you can pick the color that suits your case right now next thing we can also change is the pie chart that has hole so for that however I will have to use comma and then hole set to C.5 right and if I run this I will get the hole for the pie again 
go all the way to 0.9 make it smaller that looks something like this so i think 0.5 to 0.7 is the right range so don't go too much high don't go too much low so 0.5 seems to be the good point for your pie chart right so these are some of the things you can check out you can also try out color maps right and experiment with them what works and also experiment with opacity and other values so now that we are seeing this once we remove the color district map it will return to its original set of colors right and can even add few more parameters and check its value right there is also one pi 3d but it would require totally different discussion but apart from that uh, this is good enough for you to try out